Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial about hotkeys and uh, why did I choose this subject? Um, hotkeys are my life with 3ds Max. I always use them. Yeah, I, I tend to customize the uh, hotkey interface so I can work faster, um, see which dialogues I use a lot and uh, put them on our hotkey and um, yeah, I just really wanted to bring you guys into that world if you don't know uh, how to use hotkeys. Um, there are uh, some hotkeys I found two already which are just a little obnoxious in my taste. I mean some people might use the features but I don't. So let's jump right in. Um, have you ever come across the um, setting where you suddenly press a key and you can't move an object anymore so for instance we have this teapot and like now you can't move it because I haven't selected the select and move key but sometimes you have and you can't select it and that's because you pressed X and X is a hotkey that just makes this wonderful uh, XYZ symbol disappear so I would recommend it uh, I, rec I would recommend uh, turning it off and you can turn it off when you go to customize customize user interface and it opens yeah customize user interface is for changing the keyboard and hotkeys which is uh, kinda weird and then um, there are two ways of doing this uh, if you know which key you wanna press you can for instance uh, snap toggle you can just type in snap and the first <clears throat> because you type it as a word, it would go to snap instead of just S A. So that's really convenient. And you can just um press any letter, any hotkey. So for instance, uh control S. You see it select of say file, sorry. And um I haven't assigned anything to X. Uh, if you type X here, uh there will be something and you can remove it. And then you can save your um new layout. Uh, the other thing I found was um, this little selection lock toggle right here which um, actually turns on when you press spacebar which I found really weird because um, spacebar is always kind of the pause things button for me so um, uh, if you if you click on this you can select anything else but that object and I always thought my 3ds Max was crashing or something and I had to um, restart. So I, I turn it off as well when you go to customize and just uh, press space here and you can see what's assigned to there. Okay so that that's like the the weird hotkeys out of the way. <clears throat> now get over to the hotkeys I um, regularly use. First off is the move, rotate and scale um, hotkeys which are W, E and R Sure, just right when you're a gamer, you you have your hands always in that place, so you can just toggle between them, which is really easy. The keys that I use below that are A, S, and D, which actually toggle the snap toggles, which I love. I use a lot. In default, the snap toggles aren't at A, S, D. I think S is a toggle to be the snap toggle, and D is for the for the angle and, and percent for um, scaling is somewhere else. I really found that that wasn't convenient and I always change my uh, toggles to ASD so they're kind of below W, E and R. I just love that you got W, E, R here and then below that ASD. Okay, the other thing is uh, moving the camera. Right below here you have the orbit selection. You can click on this and you can orbit around your uh, object. Really easy and if you stay within this circle it works brilliantly with uh, some kind of target which is on the object. But uh, I don't always want to go down there and then click it and then rotate and then right click and then click object. So the, uh, the great hotkey for that is pressing ALT, holding it and then pressing uh, middle mouse button which does exactly the same as uh, the orbit selected or the orbit because you have more options there. I would advise you to uh, yeah, just try it out, alt, middle mouse button 
and um, I use it all the time to look around my object really quickly and when I'm editing. So um, the hotkey that you can use with that is uh, the letter Z. And if you press that, um, the camera will actually, that you selected, will go to the object that you selected. So if I press Z, it's, it snaps to, um, in, all the, in all the viewports, it snaps to the object. So if, if I would do this, just zoom out, zooming is scroll wheel, but I didn't really want to mention that. And um, just press Z, there you go, it's your object. And now there's... Um, it snaps on the object that I uh, that are in the scene. So if I have more objects, it will just snap to the two of them. And if I select one and press Z, it will go to the selected one. So it's really uh, really convenient. Uh, I think the option is right here. Zoom extend it all, and you can press it there too. But the hotkey is way more convenient because when you're rotating and you you want to go to another object, you just click it, press Z. The uh, target of your camera is um, right in the middle of the object, so you can rotate around the object completely. Next hotkeys are views. Um, you can change the views with the first letters of the uh, name of the views. So you have top, front, left, and perspective, which are relatively top is T. So if I press T here, this view will turn to top. Um, F is front, L, left, P, perspective, C, camera. Uh, you got a bunch more. I think B is bottom, but you also got back, so they kind of made a change around it. Um, I usually keep it to top, front, left, because I just like it to be always the same way that I always use it. Um, when I have a camera, I usually switch one to camera with C. About cameras, you can create a camera with Control C, which is usually you can see it's a camera right now. And if I zoom out, there's a camera here. Um, Control C, which is usually copy, and it's not in 3ds Max. So uh, keep an eye out if you want to copy this object and you press Control C and nothing happens. You just created the camera. Um, the copying is actually Control V, so pasting, and it uh, turns out this clone object. So that's, uh, those are easy uh, hotkeys to use. On to the display. Um, I wrote down F3 and F4. F3 is uh, seeing things in wireframe and um, pressing F3 again is um, turning it back to what it was. F4 is actually seeing smooth highlights and edge faces. So you can turn edge faces on and off. And I use this a lot uh, to see where my uh, faces are and to see what the final result will kind of be like. Um, if you've seen the view here, you got these white uh, brackets around the object. And um, I usually hate this because it clouds my view. So I turn off the brackets with uh, J. Sometimes you just want to see one view a bit larger. And uh, you got a button for that here in the corner, maximize view toggle. But it's also uh, Alt W. So when you press Alt W, the viewport goes full screen in the views. And um, when you press it again, it goes back. So just a few hotkeys left. I use M a lot, M to bring up the material editor. Um, you can also press it here. And there's rendering uh, material editor here. Um, 8 is a great hotkey to quickly change the background color. If you um, just want to see the white or black, you can just pull it down and now it's white. N is a great hotkey for uh, turning on the animation auto key. I'll, I'll explain so, some of the easy animations uh, later in 3ds Max, but if you already use animations and didn't see the hotkey, um, N is a, is a great. Rendering. Uh, if you go to the rendering dialog, you can press F10. You can also do it rendering render setup, but F10, yeah, I I use the um, render setup so often that I uh, really want a hotkey for that, and it's uh, it's stock in 3ds Max, so uh, easy hotkey. And if you press it again, it will disappear. And F9 is just rendering out the viewport that you already selected, 
and um, you can see the result. And you can see I changed the background color. So that's F9. There's one more quick tip for uh, the guys who are using um, the animation bar, um, which I found was uh, really easy. I, I learned that when I was in the internship. Um, if you press Control Alt and then press right mouse button in this bar, you can actually change the ending of your uh, timeline. So you can just scoop to 200 as an end time. And the same goes with uh, left mouse button. So if I press left mouse button, I can change the start time of this, uh, this slider, which is uh, really easy if you are... Um, yeah, if you're making an anim animation and uh, you just want to scoop over the end time, you don't have to go to settings and then change it here. Just uh, an easy tip. So that was the entire tutorial today. I hope this helps. hope you guys can uh, really learn from it. And if you have any tips, probably doing the tutorial shorter. But if you have any other tips, uh, want to know anything, uh, about 3ds max uh, want to see any new tutorials please contact me uh, post a comment so i know what i can do better next time and i hope to see you guys next week